Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna break it down to you on how to achieve this parallax collage animation in After Effects. Alright, so basically I have a couple layers here already. Basically, if you want to create that parallax looking animation, you have to turn all of your layers into 3D layers. So I'm just going to select all of my layers and turn on this 3D icon here. So once you turn that on, it just automatically become a 3D layers. So next, we want to change this one view to two views horizontal so we can see what it looks like on the active camera but also we can see the position of the layers from the top and we want to create a camera by right clicking on an empty space and a new camera and then just leave it as default the most important thing for this is to reposition all of your layers and you want to reposition them on the Z depth okay I'm gonna start with the rounded rectangle because that's the one that I want to put at the back so since the camera is here that means we want to move it further away from the camera and as you can see as soon as you move that away from the camera it becomes small because it becomes obviously far away from the camera so usually what I would do is to just scale it up until you're satisfied let's move this cat backward as well somewhere there so there's still a gap between the rounded rectangle and the cat as you can see here the cat becomes blurry that is because the depth of field on our camera is still on if this happened to you as well you want to untwirl your camera and then go to camera options and then look for depth of field and make sure that's off you can always turn that on but for this project i just want to turn it off Okay, so obviously the cat becomes small again, so let's scale that up. And then I want to move the balls first. And the balls, I want them to be close to the camera, so somewhere there. But obviously once you do that, you can't see the ball because it kind of like go outside the range of the camera. So this triangle shape lines, it shows you where your camera range is. So obviously both of the balls kind of like outside of the camera range so what you want to do when this happens is to just I'm gonna scale this down first and also I feel like this is rotated so I'm gonna reset the rotation on that ball so 50 should be fine for now I'm just gonna position this obviously that's still too big as well so let's try 25 I think 25 will be better so I guess the other ball also scale it down to 25 and where is it just over there move it in i guess somewhere there is fine um i'm actually gonna move the z depth a little bit so that both of the balls has slightly different z depth position okay now i have to like rearrange the position again scale it up maybe like 35 for this one i want to move both of this forward just just behind the balls and then scale that down to 50 and obviously we can't see the bottom one so i'm gonna move that upwards so that we can see it and then this rectangle so this hello hi text is connected to this rectangle so i'm gonna move that rectangle forward somewhere there and then the other rectangle I think I'm gonna move it backward so just in front of the cat I'm gonna scale that up and yeah I think that should be fine this is the I am cat text just gonna play around with it a bit more Alright now once you're happy with the position, you can always change the position a bit later but for now I think I'm quite happy with the position. Now you want to play around the camera. So the first thing you want to make sure is the auto orientation. So in order to open the auto orientation of your camera, hold on to Control alt o and then this is your auto orientation. 
basically at the moment it's off so when it's off you can't adjust the point of interest so i'm just going to show you so at the moment the transform is position orientation and then the rotation but when you go back to auto orientation control alt o and then we want to change it to orient towards point in of interest so if you turn that on you get this new setting which is point of interest now what you want to animate here is actually the position now if you animate the position here as you can see like the point of interest stays but the position of the camera moves this is why i want to turn on the point of interest so that the focus of the camera stays in the center but i just want to move like kind of like the camera to left and right if you can see here on the right window when i move it there you can see the parallax once you see it you can see the parallax a lot on the balls and on this graphic but you don't really see it on this green graphic so i'm actually gonna adjust that Let's have a look again okay so you can see the parallax there a bit better maybe we can even bring the cat a bit forward and just scale it down somewhere there let's play around again this is why you need to readjust the layers later on so it's okay if your first positioning are a bit off because like you can always go back and just readjust things like for example i think i want to bring this a bit backwards i'm also gonna add just a little bit of effect onto this hello hi text basically what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna rotate it y axis so i'm just gonna create a keyframe there keyframe at the very end and change it to one time so basically it's just gonna rotate like that now let's create keyframes for this camera just gonna create keyframe here and play around with the x axis you can also play with the other axis like y axis and like the z depth as well um, but i think i am gonna play around just with the y and the x so maybe something like that and then go to the middle which is five seconds for my instance i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna copy um, the first keyframe and paste it on the very last frame as per usual i'm just gonna easy ease this all right let's preview this all right i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any comment or if you have any questions leave in the comment section below feel free to tag me on instagram if you create something that follows my tutorials and usually i would repost it on friday so don't forget to tag me and also use the hashtag hash high animation i also have a motion design community if you want to join feel free to ask me on instagram as well thanks guys